Then you, the secrets. We the secret. We the secret, right? Now, is a society with secrets, right? If it was a secret society, I would never know about it, right? Why do you mm -hmm. think black people are afraid of Masons? Because every time I get, they say, "Oh, watch out, he a Mason, he a Mason," you know. Why is why is our but people I'm from Barbados, of... right? Yeah. So growing up in Barbados, before I become a Mason 24 years ago, they always say Masons is hard men, does deal with the devil, does drink blood, they just kill you and get away with murder and all these kind of things. But right? So there's a difference between white Masons and black Masons. No, nah, it's not a difference. Yeah, it is a difference. Well, no, it's not a difference. All we, it, it depends, like, I'm a Prince Hall Freemason, uh -huh. right? So a Prince Hall Freemason and the White Brothers on 23rd Street, we recognize by the Grand Lodge of England, Grand Lodge of Scotland, right? So there's other entities in Brooklyn and the Bronx and stuff like that that are, that are not recognized, right? So you could travel to England and visit the Grand Lodge of England. Somebody on Claremont and Lafayette won't be able to go and visit the Grand Lodge of England. But I seen the Grand Log in England, and it don't have too many. I seen one black mason in there, and the rest of them was white. No, I, I okay. In Prince Hall Freemasonry, as the first Boba Shanti Rasta, mm -hmm. in Prince Hall Freemasonry since 1775, in the White Lodge on 23rd Street, yeah. as the first Prince Hall Mason in New York State to join the Grotto in 1200 years. So why can't I just join? Why can't I just become a you mason? Know, I just want to be one. Right? Yeah. And as a special district deputy grandmaster, past master and a right worshipful master. So if you had come and ask me now, right? And you got a, a job, a regular job, and you don't got no felonies, then I could vote for you and bring you into Freemasonry. So you can't have a felony being a Mason? No. I thought, I thought it was you can't be incarcerated no, and be a Mason be because you're be not free. No, you can't be a convicted felon and be a Freemason. Yeah. Yeah, because what happened is now, it doesn't matter if you, and I got plenty of fraternal brothers as police officers, politicians, DAs, all different entities, but still, we got brothers that is come to your house and investigate you. It doesn't matter if you're the police, the DA, the president of the United States, it doesn't matter. We come speak to you, your family, find out if your wife uh, feel a way about you becoming a Freemason, and if she says, nah, I don't want this, then you might not be qualified. Right? And when the service met good men, better men, it means that you might be, you got to make yourself a better person. Right? So all these are certain different things. And like masonry, like you could get any amount of information on the computers and stuff like that. Right? But the most important thing, you could go and read up and got a password and stuff like that. But you got to go home. Right? If you can't tell somebody what home you're from, right? There, then we know that I see many people with this walking around and ask the questions and they can't answer, right? So and you gotta be able to protect this. Yeah. Um, you said that there's no difference between a white mason and a black mason. No. I guarantee you there's a difference. Like, for example, there's a difference between white Muslims and, and black Muslims. Is the white man is always on top and the black is on the bottom. Who's on the top of the white masons and the black masons? White, the white masons is on top of you. When I mean on top of you, like they are above you, and black masons are on the bottom. They got the power. You know that, brother. Come on. I can drop it to you now, right? I can drop some science to you. Yeah. Cause the man and wisdom, understanding, knowledge to Prince Hall, Freemasons is we own entity, right? Then 23rd Street and the White Masons got them own entity, but we come together and we have meetings together. We fellowship together, right? So nobody don't see them in masonry. We don't see color or nothing like that, no, no, right? Hold up, hold up, man, hold up. See, you don't see color. Yeah. Just because you don't see color don't mean the powers that be don't see color. That's what's wrong with us. Hold on, hold on. That's what's wrong with us as a people. We never want to see color. We want to think, oh, are we blind as to color. No, but I'm every sure. other white man, they see color, man. They put themselves first. If you, wherever you go in the world, wherever you go in the world, you have the white man on the top and the black man on the bottom. If you go to a socialist country, you'll find the white socialist on top and the black socialist on the bottom. If you go to a Muslim country, you find the white Muslims on top and the black Muslims on the bottom. So wherever the social, political, economics dynamic exists, is the white man is on top and the black man is on the bottom. And then until we understand that, and recognize that we are always be walking around saying, I don't see color. I don't see color. Color becomes blind to us. Uh, there you go. I talk about in our organization, I talk about masonry. Right. Outside of masonry, yes, I see color, right? But Outside of.
Yeah, Come okay. on, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah. You don't see you don't see racism in in um in your Freemasonry. Listen, if somebody racist towards me, uh -huh. then they could take care of themselves. But my experience, right? I met many brothers, travel many places, mm -hmm. and I never had an issue with racism and another brother, wow. right? Okay. Because that's just the way it is. But of course we got Masons that might not like me as a black person, right? right? But I never experienced that. So I can only speak on my experience. Because when white Masons see me, they come next to me and was like, wanna well, know who is me, right? This is not customary. You remind me of the, of the interview Little Wayne did not too long ago. Little Wayne did an interview. I don't know if you saw it, but they was asking Little Wayne about racism. And Little Wayne said, I don't I never experienced racism. That's not in my life. I, say, no, I don't I see it. In masonry. But yes, I experienced it outside of masonry. Uh -huh. Yeah, many times, right? So when you so when you go to a lodge, right? And this uh predominantly white lodge, you not experiencing it then? No. I went to many lodges I visit. Um, a brother does an air marshal. He's a white brother. Mm -hmm. Another brother's a ranger to Facebook bully me to come and visit their lodge in Oyster Bay. When I get out the Long Island Railroad out, and I get on Oyster Bay, if there was 100 people come to the train station, all 100 was white. And everybody was looking at me like this. So it might block a tear and stuff like that, my briefcase, right? And once I get by the temple now, all the white brothers embrace me. They had to pay for anything. They give me all different kinds of gifts. They invite me to come back to the lodge and speak about Prince Hall, Freemasonry, and stuff like that. So would you lay, would you lay naked in a coffin? No, skull and bones? You don't, you don't well, well, Bush did it. Bush laid nude in a coffin with yeah, skeleton bones. A, a Freemason. Yeah, you. this is something. It, the, the, is, no, no, no. He's not a Mason. What he was. He? he was never a Mason. Bush was never a Mason. What was People, he? Huh? I don't know who he was, but he was never a Mason. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was never a Mason. Oh, and what yeah. degree are you? What that's degree am? He got joke. That's a secret. <laughs> no, 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 no. So no, could I? So could I? Master Mason. You a master Mason? I, yeah, I got three so degrees. could you be a master Mason in the White Lodge? Then I go to a White Lodge, right? And I visit a lodge. I'm a right worshipful, right? Mm -hmm. A special district de deputy grandmaster. So they would acknowledge me, right? And ask me if I cordially invite me to sit in the east with them, right? What do you think about the Moors? The yeah, the Moors, the Moors was always around. The Moors was some of the first Freemasons. Yeah. yeah. Farrakhan is amazing. Yeah, I saw it on TV. Oh, okay. But Farrakhan is not a... Uh, he is a Mason on the other side. Uh, what other side? He's Asian friend accepted. As friend accepted. Mm. Yeah. But I know brothers that he's in the lodge with and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, but, admit, but we got... Like, even... Like the separate, the try to separate Asian free and accepted and free and accepted. But any brother that can't square in a compass, I regard him as my brother too, right? Because I can't see you on the square and just walk past you and ignore you. And I might be going to business meeting. And who I see at that same meeting, the person that was like, nah, you want to recognize Mason so I can't speak to you. But masonry is a beautiful thing. They got Jewish Mason, Chinese Mason, Italian Masons. What are let me ask you? What are the benefits of being a Mason? What's the benefits of being a Mason? Knowledge. Nah, come on, brother. Yeah, knowledge. Knowledge of what? Yeah, you knowledge, knowledge, yeah, you knowledge and networking. Knowledge and networking. You can right? Do the same thing yeah. without being a Mason. Yeah. But I said as a me as a Mason, he asked me what's the benefits of a Mason. He didn't ask me what's the benefits of a community advocate, a police community partner. So the benefits of a Mason is network and fellowship and basically that's it. Any, any, Anything any, uh, that happened after that. All right, so right? You, so, so so hold on, hold on, hold on. Any brotherhood you said amongst the police? You said you're a police yeah. community uh what you said? Partner. Partner, right? Yeah. So then you so you for the community. Yeah. And so, I'm a community so advocate. You, so you, you, you disagree with all this that's going on? Of course, on I believe that the right? person that did this supposed to be beaten mm -hmm. to his last breath yeah. and dragged by, not walk, but dragged like this on the floor and take off all his skin and make him uncomfortable going to the precinct. And while he's going there, everybody should be taking a turn and beating him down till he get there. Okay, just to get back on to those who could join Freemason. You said that y'all don't take brothers that was felons, right? No. But you got a lot of brothers that was in prison that turned their lives around, that had to go through that certain experience 
in prison and get locked up. Right. And you got those of us that been locked up, right, falsely accused right. of our crimes. And the felony is still on their records, but you still not going to recognize them as a brother? But what I see. If, if what he's saying, what he's saying is right. That's what, as far as I understand, we don't do that, right? But as you say, people has changed the lives around. People get convicted wrongfully and stuff like that. So I believe that they deserve a second chance. Mm -hmm. So you right? don't give them the first chance? Of course, I would give them the first chance. I would definitely give you the first chance. Okay, but you just said you're not no, allowing. You, the ask, you ask a question, I give you an answer to that. But you're speaking to me now, right, right. so if you if you oh, so you would you would give a first chance. Yes. So you allow a brother to come into. I would pave the, the road for the brother, right? Uh -huh. And if the the brother was truthful about what's going on yeah. and stuff like that, then I don't see no reason that you shouldn't get opportunity, right? Okay. Once you turn your life around, anything happen in life, right? People went through trials, tribulations, different things, and incarcerated for a long time and stuff like that, and changed their lives around. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. If you was a Mason before you went to jail, and then you come home, are you still a Mason when you come out? Would you still be recognized as a brother? Well, I haven't experienced that, but hopefully I would believe that they would speak to that brother and see what he was cast ready for, whatever the case is, and then I think they should accept him back. So moving on to his question now, I think that we should give felons that turn the life around a second chance as well too. That's me personally, right? I believe that wholeheartedly, right? If a brother was whatever and he changed his life around, he deserve a second chance. And okay. to be one, you ask one. So if you want to be one, you ask me. It doesn't matter what happened then. It's the future, not the past things. Give us right? a little bit of what happened yesterday out here. Talk to us, because I know you've been out here. You got the information. Well, the people. I was supposed to be a part of the press conference. And actually lost, anyhow, I, I lost my phone. I got it back this afternoon. But um, all I can say is it's so heart-wrenching to see that a one-year-old baby was shot and killed and everybody so gone. Two babies that got hit. Yeah, two, but two. seven and a one-year-old. But oh. the, yeah, but the, the one-year-old died, right? So it's horrible to see that everybody going back to the normal life, the family sitting on the step, nobody ain't around here anymore, cuddling with them and trying to pierce the neighborhood and find out who's the person that do this killing that they could beat them to a pulp and they don't promote violence, but it will help beat them down and then drag them to the precinct. I got a little one-year-old granddaughter and a three-year-old um, grandson and I don't know what I would do if something like that happened to my grandbabies. Right. So why do we put so much emphasis on a one-year-old opposed to a 40-year-old or 50-year-old? Well, I put emphasis as a community advocate on everybody. Right now, there's another young man that got killed this morning at 3 o'clock. He's 20 years old, and his father's a retired officer. And when I leave here, I'm going to go over and speak to his father. Right? So as a community advocate, we put emphasis on everybody. Right? But, but when something like this happened, right, with a little baby, mm -hmm. is, is a different kind of feeling. Of yeah, it's a different, different thing, right? Yes. It's a different thing. What a baby do to deserve this, yes. right? Yes. 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 Which one? Oh. With the pink? No, she came from over there. I ain't going to tell her that's the family. Yeah, that's sad, man. Hello? <clears throat>